This is BBC World News, our top story. The US could hit Russia with further sanctions after the expulsion of 60 of its diplomats over the spy poisoning scandal. Let's stay with that story now and talk to Paul Adams, who joins us live from Moscow. I suppose this was to be expected, wasn't it, uh, Paul? I suppose the big question is what happens now? Yes, um, I think everyone assumed uh, from the beginning of the week uh, when we saw that mass expulsion of Russian diplomats that the Russians would indeed respond in kind. They said so at the time and they've been saying so ever since. So I think uh, the, the move that we heard about last night, uh, the expulsion of the Americans, is merely the beginning of what is likely to be quite a complex set of instructions with uh, a number of ambassadors called in to the foreign ministry here in Moscow uh, and told uh, that their diplomats must pack their bags. So I, I think that will, there's a process that could take some days, given the sheer number of countries involved. Do you get the sense that Russia is slightly surprised at how many countries have taken action? 20 so far. I think it's more like 27 uh, if you include all of the, the moves that have been taken, including, of course, the British who were the first to act. Uh, yes, I think that was the intention uh, to show a, a, an almost unprecedented level of uh, solidarity among European and other uh, countries in response to not just the events uh, in Salisbury, the alleged uh, poisoning of Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia, but also to what the British Prime Minister Theresa May describes as a pattern of Russian behaviour, including the, uh, the, uh, uh, its behaviour in uh, Crimea, in eastern Ukraine, in Syria, the cyber attacks and so forth. So that was the intention. And I think the reaction here in Moscow was indeed one of surprise um, and also, of course, of anger and defiance, which is why we're seeing Russia determined to respond in kind. And a lot of people are using the words Cold War to, to, to describe the deterioration in relations. Is that uh, over the top, do you think, or are people right to be particularly concerned? It is uh, 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 the kind of language that has crept into the discourse, certainly here in Moscow. I think there's a feeling here that with all of these countries now, as Russia would see it, ganging up on Moscow, uh, then we are seeing a bit of a return uh, to those old days, particularly, of course, uh, once America leapt in with this very significant uh, expulsion. Uh, and before that, this had really been seen as a kind of almost a bilateral affair between the United Kingdom and Russia. And of course, now it is anything but that. And so, yes, that kind of Cold War perception has crept back into this, though it has to be said no one here is talking in terms of escalating this any further. Uh, and so perhaps uh, one should hesitate before assuming that that is the, indeed the world we're back in. OK, thanks very much. Paul Adams there, live for us in Moscow.